<clears throat> so, how have you been? Fine. Busy. Business is going well. You should get someone in here to clean. Sure. I could send someone. No, it's fine. Really, I could recommend Mom, someone. you didn't just come here to talk about that. What is it you're really here for? Where's your wife? She's napping. Hmm. So, we're alone. I mean, as long as we keep it down, yeah. Right. I know you're taking a lighter role in the company at the moment, but do you think you'll be ready to get back to your full role? I'm taking things at my own pace, and I think she still needs me at home right now. I know you're both having a hard time, but shouldn't you be moving ahead, figuring out what to do next? We just need time. We're, we're trying to heal as best as we can right now. I know you are, I know. But your wife, she's... She's? Not faring as well as you seem to be. <laughs> I'm holding it together for her. But if you care to ask, honestly, I'm not doing that great. I understand, but you're at least functioning in a relatively normal manner. Going about your life still. What exactly are you trying to say? Listen, it's been six months. She hasn't gone back to work. She's barely left the house. Where did you hear that? Your father told me. Right. But at least he's been here for the both of us. Where have you been all this time? I've sent money, which I've noticed you haven't been accepting. Why do you bother? I've been trying to help. I'm your mother, Jordan. I'm worried about you. Sending money. Recommending cleaners. Isn't the same as actually being there for someone, Mom. With the company, you know how busy I am. I can't just get away whenever I feel like it. But you can find time to come talk to me today? This isn't about me. This is about your situation. No. This is about you in some way. I know you well enough to know there are some other motives to this little chat. Jordan, really? Since you got married to that woman, you've really changed. You're on thin ice. So choose your words carefully. Don't you talk to me that way. I'm your mother. I deserve your respect. She is my wife, and she deserves your respect. Now, Jordan, you might love her right now, but the heart is a fickle thing. With all that's transpired, anyone can see she's too fragile. You need someone you can depend on. Are you kidding me right now? Will you let me finish? I don't want to hear it. You might not want to, but you need to listen. It's for your best interest. I highly doubt that. You should leave her. Can't you see she's broken? God, seriously? What is wrong with you? You know, you keep saying you understand, but what do you know? We've been through... We've been through something no one should ever have to go through. Now hang on there. I am concerned about your well-being. No, you're not. Just listen. If this keeps up, she's going to ruin you. You're just worried about the family name. You're not worried about me. I'm trying to be respectful here. I understand your mourning, and the crash was traumatic, but... Traumatic? Can you imagine what it is like being in that car? Watching it in slow motion as you're helpless to the vehicle that's crossing into your path. To wake up in the hospital and find out that your child is gone. You can't help them. You can't, you can't save them. That this life you brought into the world is just ripped from you. Are you expected to carry on in a few months? Rachel was a sweet little girl, but... You didn't even know her. And whose fault is that, hmm? That wife of yours is a controlling bitch. Get out of my house! How dare you! How dare I? You come into our home and insult my wife while trying to recover from the loss of a child. What is wrong with you? It was a tragedy, yes, but... Don't say it. You can have more children. Get out. And if you even knew Ray... You can't understand what it's like to lose a child. She was everything to us. There was... 
so much heart and joy in that little life. If you had gotten to know her, you would have seen that. There were hopes and dreams and ideas of who and what Ray was going to be, what she was going to get to experience. Those are all gone now. Be thankful you have no idea what this emptiness feels like. What this void in your life feels like. Jordan, I... I said get out. Honey? I I didn't hear you get up. Hello, dear. I hope you're doing well. Don't you dare talk to her. Just go. How long have you been there? Oh, sweetie. I'm not going to leave you. I am sorry you had to hear that. Hey, listen to me. You're not broken, okay? Ray is still here. She's still with us, even if we can't see or hold her anymore. We still have all the memories and pictures of the time that we had with her. All we can really hope for is that she's in a joyous place, full of everything she loved. You know something? Sometimes I dream about her. I see her running in the park, laughing. Her little pigtails bouncing as she goes down the slide. I know. I've got you. No one should say how long someone is allowed to grieve. It's different for everyone. Our hearts are hurting, and it's going to take as long as it takes for them to heal. You're right. Heartbreak is something we sometimes never recover from. She knew we loved her. I have to hope she did. You know I love you, right? Good. Yes, I know you do. We're going to get through this. We're in it together. I'm with you. Always. Always.